Now isn't this convenient? The same day that I posted my last video where I did over 200 Solra kills with the blowpipe and the ancestral gear, a beta realm was actually opened, you can see here, if I can find it, it is a blue world where you can actually get any equipment you want and you can see that it says equipment beta and in this beta it is the blowpipe changes primarily you can see on the screen right now what the changes are that you can try out on the beta server but mostly the blowpipe change and uh, I just uploaded a video using the blowpipe a lot on Solra. So in this video I'm going to try out how the blowpipe feels on Solra compared to live because it has changed quite a lot. So I actually just equipped my exact gear that I have on live, imbued heart, the exact same range setup. And uh, usually my kills are like 1 minute 30 seconds to 2 minutes on a slow kill on Solra. So let's see how it feels with the nerfed blowpipe. So let's see what the first kill is going to be. The first kill time is set. Uh, is that actually for real? Did I just get a Tanzanite Fang on the f I actually just did a video of 200 kills and I got nothing and I get Tanzanite Fang. That's perfect. 200, okay, so 213 for the first KC. It's, it's kind of funny if everything is like 100% drop rate, but, uh, or like insane drop rate, right? So this is like one in three or something on the beta. It would be funny if that's the case, but uh, sadly I don't think it is and I, Probably just got a rare drop on the beta servers. So this is now the fourth kill and I can feel that the blowpipe is a bit weaker. My kill times are, yeah, just above two minutes now, which is definitely slower than on live. But um, I feel like the blowpipe on Solra was like the super huge juggernaut compared to the mage setup. Like when you use the magic setup, you do good damage. But when the blowpipe comes out, you just spam like 20s all the time. And it was such a big damage spike. So I would say that the blowpipe nerf feels alright because uh, I can show you guys when I actually hit it in magic phase it's pretty consistent still even with the uh, nerf to the accuracy halving its accuracy and also giving it 15 less ranged strength on top of that is obviously a massive nerf but it still feels pretty good so I mean it was very overpowered before. So here comes the magic phase and hopefully it doesn't get jinxed and I just miss everything just because I just said that. I have the wrong item on. Uh, there's one hit, another hit, still hitting 22s. Yeah, as you can see, I'm still hitting pretty consistently. That was a very short magic phase, but uh, yeah, it's definitely not a dead item by any means in my opinion. Now let's try this out in another magic phase. I have all the things going for me now and let's attack it. First one is a miss, second one is a miss, a low hit, a miss again, that is a better hit, another hit but low, that's a good hit. So yeah, sometimes you can get kind of bad hits and I think that is kind of how it goes now with the blowpipe. That maybe they want a less consistent weapon that doesn't always hit like crazy. And uh, when it does though, it is going to shred the boss still. So I think that's a pretty good design decision if that's what they're going for. And uh, I feel like it's kind of in that state now with these changes. Obviously you would have to try it way more to really feel if that's true or not. But uh, I feel like that's what they're going for. A less consistent but potential, high potential weapon. But uh, less of that, oh you pick this and you're always going to do insane damage all the time weapon. Just tried a kill with the uh, twisted bow and it was 137. Which is pretty much the average kill that I used to do before the blowpipe nerf with a blowpipe and the setup that I had before. And now you can see that they are around 2 minutes, 2 minutes here as well. And then the one I was talking about, as I said, I think they want to make the weapon a less consistent weapon but still a very strong weapon. In some cases it can just pop off and you get that nice attack speed into very good hits all the time and you get a 120 kill. But then it goes back to the normal too many kills and uh, I think that's, as I've said, a pretty good change. I feel like uh, they might have to tweak it a bit to uh, not make it so every blowpiper is just super super inferior to a twisted bow because uh, I did it with no switches, no anything and got a 137. Of course the twisted bow is meant to be way more valuable but uh, I mean it's almost uh, over 1.2 bill already. So you might want to make sure it's not uh, all too far away from each other as they're both pretty high tier weapons. 
But uh, I think that's all I'm going to talk about in this video. When there comes more changes to more of the items, I might make videos on that as well. But I just primarily wanted to talk about this blowpipe nerf because as you guys know, I don't have a twisted bow on the main game, so I am using the blowpipe all the time, and having it nerfed is definitely going to slow things down a bit, but uh, hopefully they will tweak it a bit and make both of them viable in different situations. Hope you guys did enjoy the video, remember to leave a like if you did, have a good one guys, take care.